I want to go and hang out with him. I just want to go and have a lunch with him. No cameras, no microphones. I just want to talk to him. Trevon or Richard Hart? Richard Hart. I actually got stuck in an elevator with Richard Hart not long ago. I heard it's a scam. I'm not sure. Richard Hart seems like a good guy. He seems like he's got great taste in fashion. Seems like he really cares about the financial system and the problems within the banking sector and the Fed. And he seems like he's designed a cryptocurrency that can fix this. I've heard this is a rumor. You know, he said there's going to be tons of bugs in Ethereum. It's going to be unusable. They don't know how to build this. We're going to do Pulse Chain and it's going to be much better. And now he's just copy pasting Ethereum and it's not better at all. It just comes out later and all the upgrades that they are getting is downstream from Ethereum. That is, and they raised a billion dollars for this. That is a scam. And are those wallets essentially his and he owns that? Oh, ETH? yeah. Oh, yeah. So he is now. And some, worth, of the, some of them are in stable coins also. So they're actually like stable coins for hundreds and hundreds of millions of dollars. So he's either worth hundreds of millions or maybe a billionaire. Yeah. I mean, it's impressive, even if it's bullshit. Yeah. Can I, can I, tell, you, can I tell you a little story about Richard Hart? He tried to troll me and it was fucking brilliant what he did. I actually respect this. So when I was trying to buy Bedford Town Football Club, he reached out to them when he heard about it and tried to buy a sponsorship of the stadium and call it the Hex.com Stadium. Um, okay, so when you say it's all collapsing, does it really matter to him? He's that fabulously wealthy. Yeah, I mean, at this point, I don't think that... Uh, I mean, Richard has said it himself that, you know, in terms of how much you can upgrade your lifestyle there's diminishing returns. So he can, he has the best stereo, like he has the best sound, he has the best TV, he has the best things. So how much happier is he gonna, is he gonna become from another 100 million? The thing that he cares about is the adoration from the people around him. I left the Hex community. Left it? You were in it? <laughs> <laughs> I got Was that a slip of the tongue? Were you a hexagon? I got sucked in. No, I wasn't a hexagon, but I got sucked in. What? Wow. <laughs> yeah. uh, what is, Pul is Pulse Chain like their Ethereum? Yeah, so Pulse Chain was supposed to be... Um, what he promised was that he was going to fork Ethereum, but it was going to be faster, and it was going to have proof of stake before Ethereum had it. Yeah. Um, so it was going to launch before and it was going to have more scalability and it would have faster blocks and all that. In the end, uh, they didn't, they weren't able to launch Pulse Chain before Ethereum. Now it's launched after Ethereum. And oh, it so is, it has launched? Oh, sorry, the, there's a test net for it. Does it work? At, uh, barely. Um, so the, the window up, the, the, they tried to get into this when the fees in Ethereum were extremely high. That's when they started. Now the Ethereum fees are low, and now they have this clone of Ethereum, which there isn't really a purpose for anymore. And they've mm -hmm. also, instead of making Ethereum better, which was the thing that they were going to do by making blocks faster, uh, now it's just a carbon copy. Uh, what's PulseX? PulseX is like a Uniswap uh, application that runs on top of Pulse Chain. So the same yeah. way that Ethereum has Uniswap. So that's just an app, one application also raised a billion dollars. A what? separate billion dollars? A separate billion dollars. And is that a separate billion dollars for Richard? For Richard. So he probably has multiple billions of dollars. 